Right, so this is my giant TCR. This is what I'm riding for the Fred. Someone's asked me about it. I actually don't know the answer to his question about gear ratios. So I thought I'd better do a semi sort of deep dive because I'm not a techie person when it comes to tech. So I will relay what I'm going to do for the Fred on this bike and also my kit and the food and anything else I can think of in a really short video because I just haven't got time because it's what, four days away? Right, so I'm going to be running 11 speed Ultegra 5034 on the front, 3011 at the rear, standard rear cage on my rear mech. The chain is obviously gold because that's going to be worth a few watts. Tire wise, I am running Hunt wheels firstly, they're 50s, hopefully it's not going to be windy. <laughs> Conti 28mm, 5000 tubeless tyres, pressures at 80 psi, 75 if it's going to be wet or a little bit damp, just because it'll offer a little more traction. Kit wise, I'm going to be carrying quite a bit of food. I'm going to put my flapjacks and things in my back pocket, but I'm taking gels. Controversial, I don't usually ride with them, but I'm a little bit freaked that I've not done a mega ride this year. So I'm taking a plethora of gels from Kendall Mint Company. Details below. It's going to be heavy though. Top tube bag weighs in at 516. My multi-tool here with one tube, set of tie leaves and a pump. Obviously this has got a chain breaker on, which I think is important. And of course they all import on Allen key for your wheels, in case you do have a puncture. That weighs in. That's staggering. Here it comes. Six. Six, five, six, five, five, yeah, heavy. Following the advice of Rory Black from one of the previous videos, you can go back and find another wit and waffle. Um, he recommended dates and nuts, so I've got flapjack. I've also got a version of sandwiches, which I said I was gonna do peanut butter jam, peanut butter jelly, peanut butter and strawberry jam in a sandwich, but actually I'm gonna do them in thins because somebody told me that you don't need to roll in pin them because they're already thin. So that'll be easier because that takes up space in my back pocket. Bottles, I'm gonna run two 750 ml bottles. One will start off with zero, whatever it's called, high five. The other one, I'm gonna put in a citrus and mint from KMC. And then at Winlatter, I am gonna have a bottle swap over, a bit of a refresh of food because I will have gone through all my sandwiches, definitely one flapjack, and I am going to divide gels. I've got two caffeine gels. The thinking is I'm gonna drop one caffeine gel at around Keswick, which will get me over Buttermere and certainly have kicked in for Newlands. And then the second caffeine gel, which I've marked with a C, even though it is indicated on the packet that it's a caffeine one, and that's a, a non-caffeine one. I've marked them both with a Sharpie, with a C, because I don't want to be, well, it'll just get in your head, won't it, if you don't take a caffeine gel by mistake, or you end up having to take two, and then goodness knows what might happen. So the f idea is to eat something every half an hour, and with having four gels, if I'm finding myself in a bit of trouble, I'll be able to drop one an hour. I've also got, because I get bored on the bike, of the horrible sticky food, I've got dolly mixtures, which are my favorite. So Aldi's best dolly mixtures. And also a ver variation of the flapjack, that is a natural energy bar. Again, details below, because that is from KMC as well. Kendall Milton Company. Lastly, when it comes to food, well, no, second to last actually, these fellas. Cliff bar blocks, brilliant, or cliff blocks. Um, easy to digest, easy to eat. And somebody told me last week, if you take three of these, that's the same as a gel. So just a bit of variety for the palate. But most excitingly, a cold coffee at Win Latter when I get a bottle swap with my family. And a something savory, like maybe a cheese and onion pie. <laughs> that is the bit I'm most excited about actually, because it is gonna be pretty sickly and sticky by the time I've got 115 odd miles in the bank. And I've just eaten what effectively is sugar so right there you go that is the food bit so I'm gonna be running the Wahoo bolt with the minimum amount of data heart rate with a Wahoo strap the ride time and that's going to be unpaused so there'll be no stopping and starting if I stop the clock is gonna keep ticking which will make the maths easier for when I'm working out how long I've been on the bike and ideally beat my time 
And then the only real metric that doesn't get into my head is the mileage because I know that that's just going to have to get to 114-ish and we'll be home free. And I know the terrain, I know what the route is, so anything more which you can add to that is just going to drive my little brain crazy I think. So keep it dead simple and that will just go on the cage mount which I have there which is nice, lightweight, neat, cool looking. And there you go. That is the bike sorted. I will just put my kit together ready for Sunday. The usual jumbo bucket's worth of clothes, a recovery drink for when I get back, just to rehydrate. And that's pretty much it. And hopefully the weather will be with me and yeah, the clothing choice will just be a mad panic. And I'll just have to ride with what I've got on. And hopefully I will stay warm and dry and it'll be a fantastic ride. So there we go, that is the giant TCR. Fred ready. Yeah, I'm not sure if I am though. Right, comment, like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.